air and electrical lines and also the connectors on the uh, combination vehicle only. So starting up here, up in the front here, here are the glad hands here and here. Uh, they're connected, I, they're also not crisscrossing. I have red to red and blue to blue. Down at its connection points right here and also over here, they're not cracked or leaking at all. I'm gonna listen for air, le air leaks right there. And then here at the glad hands and the seals, I wanna make sure that the seals right here and here are not missing at all. They're not worn through. There's no debris stuck in between them at all. It's also not leaking at all right here at all. And then up here, I'm gonna inspect these hoses to make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts are not cracked or leaking. I'm gonna listen for air leaks all along here. The, the electrical line right here is securely mounted right here with the safety latch right here. The safety latch is in place. It's not missing at all. It has spring tension. This bracket too is mounted to the frame. There's no missing nuts or bolts at all. It's also plugged in here. There's no corroded, exposed, or loose wires at all here. And then I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab these hoses right here and the electrical line to make sure there's enough slack for the turn of my trailer. There's not so much slack that they're gonna get caught up on the truck or the ground or anything. And then I'm gonna follow these lines up here to make sure that, and check all the connection points here at the semi-trailer. So I'm gonna look up here to make sure that these connection points up here, uh, they're not cracked or leaking at all. They're also securely connected. The, the hoses here, there's no abrasions, bulbs, or cuts, not cracked or leaking at all. And the hoses that follow this here, they're all, they're not, there's no abrasions, bulbs, or cuts, not cracked or leaking. Also here, there's connection points right here and right here, they're connected at all, they're not cracked or leaking at all. And I'd follow that all along here to make sure that it was pretty much the same, they're not cracked or leaking at all. The hoses here are all also securely tied up to the trailer, they're not gonna get caught up in anything. And then I'm gonna follow that electrical line. The electrical line two is securely tied up to the trailer. It's also plugged in do down over here. And then it's also plugged in up over here. So I'll make sure it's plugged in. There's no corroded exposed or loose wires at all. The air hoses and electrical lines and all of its connectors are all securely mounted. You'll talk about the fifth wheel skid plate, this right here. So you'll mention that the fifth wheel skid plate is not twisted, sagging, or loose at all. Um, you'll talk about the platform. The platform is not cracked, bent, or dented at all. Also, there's no space or gap between the platform and the frame or this bracket in the frame. There's no loose or missing mounting bolts at all. Um, there's no shiny threads down here or missing nuts at all. I'd look inside the frame over here for all those nuts to make sure there's no shiny exposed threads at all. None of, them, none of those nuts are missing at all. I do the same over here on this side. And then I'll make sure that the, the skid plate here, it's, prop, it, um, it's not cracked, bent, or dented at all. We don't grease the top of our skid plate here. We have this poly plate underneath the apron right here. The poly plate's not worn through, loose or missing at all. It allows for the safe turn of my trailer. The fifth wheel skid plate is securely mounted. Um, on the combination vehicle, you'll talk about the kingpin. The kingpin, the kingpin is inside here. The kingpin right here. You had mentioned that the kingpin is straight. It's not cracked, bent, or dented at all. Also, this locking jaws around the shank or the neck of the kingpin, and the head of the kingpin is below the locking jaw where it should be. It's not cracked, bent, or dented, or missing at all. And then you'll talk about the apron here. The apron is straight, it's not cracked, bent, or dented, or there's no broken or missing welds at all. There's also the missing nuts or bolts or shiny exposed threads. It's steel, so it's not rusted through anywhere at all. The apron is securely mounted. And then you're gonna talk about the gap. You don't wanna see a gap between the apron and the skid plate. Any sizable gap or daylight would mean that my trailer is not securely connected. So I'm gonna ensure that this locking jaw is where it should be around the neck of the kingpin and not the head of the kingpin down here and my trailer is securely connected. The locking devices right here. So what they wanna know is that you're gonna talk about this, this uh, release arm right here, and then also the locking jaw over here. So starting with the release arm, the release arm over here, you'll mention that it's in the drive position. We don't have a safety latch in its place. We have spring tension, that, that spring tension is due to the spring down here, that spring's not loose or missing at all. The metal here is not cracked, bent, or dented at all, it's securely mounted. And then you'll talk up, come over here and talk about the locking jaw. You'll make sure that that locking jaw is, that locking jaw is straight, it's not cracked, bent, or dented at all, it's also properly greased. 
And also there's no sizable gap or space or anything weird between the locking jaw and the neck of the kingpin here. The locking jaw is securely mounted.